Okay, so this is the ROM I want to get rid of. So I'll desolder that, put a socket in. And pin one, I think, is currently tied to pin one. That's that one, isn't it? Pin one is tied to ground. I have to double check. Okay, got the. Looks like I've got it desoldered. No tracks came up. Good. Right, so do do do. Give that a bit of a clean up. That'll do. So I'm just trying to remember. I thought it was pin one. That was just tied to ground because it wasn't in use. I don't see it tied to ground on this one. Pin 28, pin 14. Mm -hmm. Okay. Have a look. Wait for that to start up. Continuity. No, it's not tied to anything. It's just free floating, is it? I don't see it's connected to anything. Pin to Pin two is, but pin one is okay. I'm just sorry, I'm not zoomed in the wrong place, aren't I? So it looks like pin one is not connected to anyone, anything on this. I would have thought it'd be tied to ground at least. Um, okay, cool. So the next step is putting in a to go across more don't I? Putting in a pocket and then putting in so that's 16k so stick in a um a 32k roll that's got both firmware on it and a switch I might just have to clean some of those holes out a bit. Okay. Right. Uh, socket's been put in. So one thing we can do is put the original ROM in. And see if it still works. I'll make sure it still works. Let's see if it still works. Oops, sorry. You have little faith. Straighten the pins up a bit. Do, 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 do. Okay. Okay. Um, and these are the links that are on every Amstrad CPC board up here. Uh, ba, 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 link one, two, link one, two, and three. Okay. Other combinations are German Schneider. Link one, link two for AWA apparently. Link selectable brand names. Unused brand names. Oh, Tryout, SciShow, ISP, Arnold, <laughs> SolarVox, Orion, AWA Thorn. Okay, so blah, 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 blah. 
So internally, link one and link two are shorted. Okay, so that's what we want to do up here. We want to short link one and link two so that we get AWA instead of Amstrad. So we can do that using off-cut component legs. I uh, just need to suck out the solder. We'll make sure it says AWA and then um, we'll try the other ROM. Run, run for a while and see what temperatures these other chips get to. Okay. There you go. AWA links are done. Original ROMs back in. Let's make sure it still works. Then we'll stick in the switchable ROM and see if that works. And then try and load Sid Meier's Pirates, which only works on 6128, regardless of your RAM. So assuming it's um, firmware differences. Anyway, let's give this a try. Okay. AWA. It's still working. Okay. Let's see how we go with this new ROM. Right. I thought this would be the easiest way to do it. So I've got a, I, I can never remember, is it single throw double pole? So we've got one set of contacts, but anyway, so on, 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 on. So we have the yellow that connects to pin one of the socket and um, red connects to five volts, black connects to ground. So I'll have that coming through basically just to connect it together like that. So I'll be having this one here and I'll basically just pin one. So I'll connect pin one. And I think pin 28 is five volts and then Pin 14 is ground. Oh, it doesn't really matter either or. Um, that way, pin 1 will either be high or low, so it should select the, the lower bank or the upper bank. So the 464 or the 6128. That's the idea. Let's see if it works. There we go. So we've got ground, pin 1, a ground, pin 1, and, and pin 28. So, and then just run it under the board out to the other side. Maybe something like that. And then connect it up with the switch and then swap in the ROM. Let's see. Okie dokie, it's working. So this is the original. So we've got AWA because of the links, basic 1.0. Switch it off. And then oh, switch the switch. And we've now got AWA again, 64K, because I've, I've actually patched this. Uh, basic 1.1. So final test will be if we can load Sid Meier's Pirates, I believe. So I think, um, I think that's pretty much everything. Let me, uh, I, I think I can start putting everything back together. So here's the board. Um, so that's my, I think it's a 27C256. So that's a 32K ROM with the switchable in there. Um, I'll stick some heat sinks on. Don't think these ones need it. Um, I'm not sure where I'm going to put the switch yet. I'm thinking maybe over next to power. I'll just leave it hanging out here for, I think that's the printer port, so I'll leave it hanging out the printer port for now. Um, otherwise, yeah, I guess I can screw the keyboard back in, uh, the motherboard back in, um, and do some more testing. Okay, finally, I want to do this for a while. So, uh, <clears throat> the difference between the 464 and the 6128, okay, there are firmware differences. So if you look in the firmware manual, um, 
entry addresses to certain routines are, are different. So it's not so much just the memory and basic 1.1, but also on the firmware. So this is um, a review of uh, Sid Meier's Sid Meier? Sid Meier. Sid Meier's Pirates uh, from Amstrad Action issue 32. Sometime 99, page 45. And it starts off by saying that, probably can't read it, but I'll read it out to you. Uh, this is one of those rare games that will only play on a 6128. It won't run on a 464 or a 664 with or without a RAM pack. So basically, the um, there's, there's um, it uses 6128 firmware routines, not just the required memory. So I've got a 464. I've got the switchable ROM, 464 ROM, basic 1.0, 6128 ROM, or firmware, basic 1.1. And I've got uh, Zaxxon's DDI5, which is which is a 512K RAM expansion. So I've got enough RAM. Um, I'm currently on... Let's power off. Okay. Currently on the 464 mode, so basic 1.0. We've got pirates loaded here. Disk. Uh, just a quick catalog. Okay, so run pirates basically. Okay, it's loading. Okay, we've got the loading screen. Let's uh, maybe zoom in on that. I'll just press any key or press space. Okay, so keyboard. Loading. How did I ever survive with tapes? <laughs> this is taking so long. And it's crashed. Okay. So let's power off. We'll switch to the um, 6128 firmware. Power back on. And then we've got. Whoop. So we're in 6128 mode now. Okay. So again, we'll go to disk, and we know what it is, run pirates. You can see the DDI5 loading away there. Loading screens come up. Okay, so we're back. So this is, we got this question before so I'll go keyboard again this is the bit where it takes ages <laughs> Getting there. Keep going back to track zero, track 26, track zero. Ta-da! <laughs> it's working now. So, this is Sid Meier's Pirates. 
working on an Amstrad 464 with memory expansion, but using the, uh, the 6128 firmware. So, I don't know what the keys are. There we go. There we go. So, um, I'm happy with that. Um, so, the Amstrad's pretty much ready. Um, you know, like I said, we've got armor all the case, uh, keyboards clean, um, everything. So, job done.